guys welcome back to another tutorial in this one i'm going to be showing you how you can deploy a django application in vessel vessel is a serverless platform for hosting static um, website in this application i'm going to show you how you can host your django application using vessel without wasting your time let's begin the setup so when you go to vessel.com to sign up you click on the sign up button it brings you to this page where it will ask you to create your vassal account for me i'm going to select i'm working on personal projects then it will ask me for my name i'm going to use joshi vibe then i'm going to click continue when i click continue it will ask me to connect your github provider sorry your git provider in this instance i'm going to be using github and to set up github you click continue with github it will go ahead and ask me to grant permission and authenticate my github account once i do that it will allow me in as simple as that then it will ask me to enter my phone number for verification so i'm going to go off the camera and quickly enter my phone number but remember to select your country for me i'm in nigeria while making this video so i'm going to use a nigerian number okay so i'm done with the verification process of my phone number we have imputed the otp i received as an sms to verify myself now i'm connecting to my github okay guys i have been authenticated and now i can start building something new so this is how easy it is to set up an account in vessel now let's go back to vs code let me show you how to set up your project to work with vessel then we'll ship it to github then we'll take it off from there here is my github okay so this is my vs code and this is my settings.py i have set up a simple project just an authentication thing but mind you when i host this application on vessel vessel is serverless that means you cannot integrate your database to it if you're building a project that requires database there are different ways you can host your database externally then link it to your project and it will work but for this particular setup i'm doing i just want to show you how to host a static application of django in vessel if you guys want me to show you how to integrate a standard database into your vessel project that you've hosted i can show you that in a subsequent video but this one is just to show you how to set up a django project on vessel so this is my settings.py the first thing i'm going to do let me change my debug to true then another thing i'm going to do because i have some static file here i just have a small static file that i created i think one css file here i'm now going to first of all do python manage.py let's collect static this will go ahead and collect you know let me cancel first there are some things i need to do let's scroll down here in our settings.py what i'm going to do is i'm going to set my static root and also i think the static url is already set up i'm just going to set the static root and also the static directories so i will do static drs equals to list inside the list i have already imported os because i will be needing os to import the part of my directory for my static so i will do os.path.join base directory comma my static is inside account which is my app so i will add accounts here then slash static this one is set up the next one i'm going to do is to add the static root and for this one i will do os dot part but instead of static i will add it as static files because this is what our django application will collect once we do our collect static now now with this setup the next thing i'm going to do open up the terminal again let's run collect static it has gone ahead to collect our static file which copied all our admin files that's done let me clear out the next thing i'm going to do is install white noise white noise is going to help us to serve our static file and to install white noise you do pip install white noise okay but i think i have already installed white noise so it will tell me that i have satisfied that already next see so i will do pip freeze to create our requirement.txt so that you have all the dependencies that i used to set up this project which is probably django so once i do that my requirement.txt is created and i have all these four one two three four five fives okay this is done close this let's come here now inside here i will add the white noise app inside my app here i'm gonna come on top of this one i will do white noise dot run server then underscore no static make sure you do not make any mistake here like this one i wrote right now instead of run then come towards this middle wire after the middlewire.security.security middlewire, 
I will add for the one for noise noise I will do white noise dot middle wire just like that then dot white noise middle wire just like that but this one should be capital much small this one is okay so i think this is the only thing i need to do in my settings.py now the next thing i'm going to set up is a vassal.json file the vassal.json file is what vassal is going to use to understand our project and know that this project is a django project then it will go ahead and install all the dependencies using our ysgi which is inside our test project file here that has our settings.py so inside this test project folder here i will create a file i will call it vassal.json okay inside this vassal.json i'm going to copy something and put here now you will notice that the source i'm using test project slash ysgl.py this test project is the name of our project the root folder then i'm also setting the test here as test project slash ysgl.py then the runtime i'm setting python 3.11.3 because this is the python version i'm using in this project the next thing I'm going to do is come towards this test project here, which is the folder where I have my settings.py. I will look for this file, ysgi.py. Then I will add this app equals to application. I'm sure you will not have it in your own ysgi because it's not there. Once you have added this, everything is ready to go. We are ready to ship this project to GitHub. So what I can do is copy it. So currently I have the repo set up in my other GitHub account. So I'm going to come here, open it from my main github account so i can focus it inside this our project we are creating here so i'm gonna create a fork of this one okay now we have fork this repo from my joshua account so that i can use this to show you guys how to deploy let's come here so what we're going to do first is to install github we need to install github here i'm going to do install so we can go ahead and install github let's install it okay let's install it for all repositories you can choose to install for just one repo but i'm installing for all repositories then impute your password wrong password let's impute the right one confirm then we'll be redirected now you will notice that i have about three different repos here one of them is the one i forked from joshiva's page that is the one I'm going to add in the link of this video to show you guys so you can see the setup from there. So let me go ahead and import this one so we can ship it here. Immediately I clicked on import. It brought me to this page. Mind you, let me close this one. I decided to ignore this. Mind you, inside here we have the project setup, everything. Account, right? Static files, test project, all this together. Including the vassal.json file. This is the total package of the repo. Then let's come back here now that we have everything set up we just need to go ahead and click on deploy and see if this will deploy or show us if there's any error it's quite simple as that deployment queued let's see installing required dependencies deploying output then injected preview command midware almost done let's see okay our project is live that was quite simple now if you want to view we can click here it will show us our project live this is the project go to sign up it takes you here come back you go to login it takes you here but now if i want to try to log in it will not work because the database is not connected but if you are just handling an application that has to do with okay enter a correct username and password but if i enter the correct username it will show me a 501 error because my database is not working yeah 500 error i guess as much but if i connected my database i wouldn't have had this issue so guys this is how simple it is to set up a Django project on Vessel. If you add the Vessel.json file and in your root folder where you have your settings.py, you make sure that your ysgi.py file has app equal to application, then you're good to go. That was it on how to deploy a Django project on Vessel. If you want me to show you how to add an external database to a project that you deployed on Vessel, let me know in the comment section and I will make a video with an external database showing you how you can achieve that free of charge. You don't need to pay anything there different cloud providers you can set up database from that will offer you that service then you can use it to test your platform then subsequently you can pay for it i have come to the end of the video if you have any questions remember to ask me all i did was just to fork the repo from the main repo where i have it in my joshiva page once i forked it i went ahead to deploy it here i have already shown you guys everything else in my github how it works the setup and i decided to go ahead and do the forking aspect of the repo to save time and that is it 
for the end of the video guys if this video was helpful please remember to subscribe and share and also drop your comments i will be here to answer to meet again i remain your humble servant joshua peace out